Okay, everybody, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to be going into this, but something happened at work yesterday, and um, it really put me in a bad spot, and over the night, I learned to deal with it, and today is better, and co-worker's not at work today, so... It's a holiday weekend. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I am out at work. Um, it's not a big deal. I'm gay, so what? It's just like if somebody else is Muslim, straight, or whatever, Christian, atheist, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your skin color, your, who you are, anything. You know, you care about who they are as a person, as in their ethics and their values and how they treat people and love and not in hate, you know. Um, so things, that things. So, um, I've had conversations with a certain coworker about, like, Christian contemporary music, so we listen to the same thing. So we had this dialogue and understanding and, um, when the whole... Um, so when the election was going on, he pretty much made it clear how he feels about certain topics. And that was okay. You have your title to your own opinion. So that was about over a year ago when the election was going on. Nothing else has really been happening in that um, conversation, in that subject matter. I think it'll just pretty much um, uh, understanding. And... So we here and there talked about like a certain groups or certain bands, you know, type of thing. When the co another coworker told my boss about the whole coffee thing, um, I pretty much limited who I talked to and talk about outside work, talk about, you know, my personal life and what's going on. So I have limit that quite a bit ever since that whole coffee thing happened. Um, there's a little bit of background for you guys. So yesterday I received an email from him. Um, I got to it. I opened it up. The intro video was about, it was more of a selling product for you to learn how to love your neighbor even if they're gay and still being in Christian values. I was really offended. It seriously affected me. I have never had this happen at work. Um, it really disturbed me. I haven't dealt with, <clears throat> I haven't dealt with anything like this uh, since my early 20s. Um, I read just somebody called me a dyke or someone called me that than to like attack my faith you know so um I emailed him back and say what's this all about and in another email I said um this is not appropriate for work don't send me things like this and uh, you're a good co-worker and have a great four-day weekend so, I left it on a good note. Um, later on, he came by my desk, and I was like, yeah, don't send me stuff like this. He's like, oh, it helped me. I thought it would help you. I'm like, what do you mean it helped you? I didn't say that. I was thinking in my head, I'm like, are you trying to tell me you were gay and now you're straight? Or you have a problem loving people? Or, or you know... <sighs> I don't even care you love me. I mean, really, I don't. Just respect me. I respect you. We all have different views, different ways of life. That's all I care about is being respected. Um, so I told him I didn't really care for it. He's like, why? And I told him why. And he's like, well, in the Bible, in Leviticus, and it said blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, if you really understand what's going on and not taking stuff out of contents and 
just don't take one super line and feel like you need to use that to bring on hate. No, 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 <laughs> no. I mean, for me, it doesn't matter if it's the Quran, the Bible, any religion across the board is pretty much about love. Loving yourself, loving the world, loving the opportunities you have in life, loving your fellow mankind, all it's all about. <clears throat> to send something like this is just so uncalled for. And, um, I'm getting choked up here. I told him it wouldn't affect me anymore. I'm at peace with whatever happened. But I haven't dealt with this in a while. And, I mean, I've been out since I was like 16, 17 years old. And here I'm like turning 42 at the end of the year. Yeah, I've been out longer, many more years than the age I was when I came out. So, <clears throat> um,. He's on vacation now, and um, he probably won't return until after the holiday, or have a Memorial Day coming up on Monday, and no, 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 we're not, we're not doing this, I'm not doing this at the workplace, no. So, anyways, um, I'm not going to HR at this time, since the lines of communication kind of opened about this subject matter like a year ago um but yeah um I guess it also depends on how I'm being treated after so anyways um anyways I need to get to work and I will talk to you guys later bye hey everybody so I just got out of work and um I shouldn't just let it get to me but um talk to HR got um, advice they don't know who it is and I'm going to take their advice I went to my manager told her what was going on she was shocked by who it was um, I'm going to pull him aside on Tuesday after the holiday tell him that you know this is not cool with work we don't have that type of friendship we're not friends outside of work this is a work environment yeah, this is not cool. Uh, next time I will go to HR about it. So, yeah. Um, we'll see how that goes on, on Tuesday. I'll let you guys know. But as it is now, that's what's going on. So, I don't know if you guys experienced this at work. I have never experienced this at work. Um, yeah, it's just sad. I don't know if it's just the political stuff going on and people feel like they're entitled by condemning and putting down other people because of what they believe. It's just wrong. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. So I met with that coworker and um, I pulled him to a conference room to have a private conversation the moment I closed the door he was like oh well um, I'm sorry I shouldn't have sent that to you I'm sorry it'll never happen again and I told him bluntly like yeah we don't need to be discussing things like this at work I know how you feel you know how I feel and there is no discussion you know needed no so I did tell him that I went to HR. Um, I, they don't know who it is. I got advice from them to handle it between us. And hopefully that was that. Um, so that was last week. And um, Monday I left. So I no longer work for the company. And I've had a lot of interviews this week. So I'm not worried about it. And you know, higher powers got me, so I'm not worried. So anyways, um, hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.